I'm John Buchanan, and in this video, we're going to be looking at two tools that work really nicely together to help you program beats, bass lines, and other musical parts as well. They are namely Collapse Mode and the Brush Tool. Within this project, I've opened up uh, two tracks, the first of which is Ultra Beat, one of Logic's drum machines. And I've got sounds, different individual drum sounds on each individual chromatic step of my keyboard. Now what I want to do is to draw in a pattern for this um, instrument. So what I'm going to do is to press T, open up the toolbar, grab the pencil tool and create an empty region in this first bar. And then I'm going to come back to uh, uh, press T again, open up the toolbar once more. And this time I'm going to double click on this region and I can instantly see down here all of the individual drum sounds that are added to this project. So if I make this a little bit uh, bigger from a vertical point of view, then we can see all of those individual sounds. And actually Ultra Beat allows me to trigger patterns as well on lower down key. So there's loads of information here, most of which I don't need. I want to program a pattern for a bass drum, maybe a snare, a hi-hat, and just a couple of individual sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to program, using the pencil tool once more, a kick drum pattern. I'm going to program one individual snare drum. And to start with, I'm actually going to put all of these just on the first beat to introduce these sounds. I'm going to go and find maybe a hi-hat sound that I might want to use as well. Let's see whether or not we can find one up here. Um, there is um, a hi-hat there. And uh, what I'm also going to do maybe is to find something else that might be interesting. Okay, yeah, I quite like this conga sound as well. I think that could be quite a useful sound too. So I've now got four sounds. You can see they're really spaced out. To program a pattern for these, I've got to be jumping between lots of individual keys. So what I'm gonna do is to make life easy for myself by employing collapse mode, which is this button right here. The moment I've drawn in those notes, when I press collapse mode, instantly the screen now only shows me the notes for which I have programmed an individual step. So what I'm now in a position to do is to say, okay, I've got a much more collapsed, uh, condensed view, and I'm going to program a kick drum pattern, maybe um, just as, as a four to the floor pattern. I might take out this snare drum by double clicking and uh, put snares where I want them instead. And then what I might do is to say, actually this conga part, maybe I just want to have this little preemptive strike here. So what I've now got, I'm ignoring the hi-hat for a moment, I've got the sort of basics of a pattern, which uh, maybe should make a little bit more musical sense. Okay, good. So what about this hi-hat? Well, let's suppose for a moment that what I wanted to do was to have a running series of individual hi-hat notes that played all the way through this pattern. Of course, I could just draw 16 of them, one after another with each step in the grid. And that's fine, but let's suppose I programmed a four bar pattern, not just one, that's an awful lot of individual notes clicking. So what I'm going to do instead is to actually throw all of those ones away apart from the first one. And I'm going to go looking for a different tool, namely the brush tool. Again, T to open the toolbar. And within this MIDI programming window, if I select the brush tool, what I'm then in a position to do is literally just draw over this grid to add all of those notes in one long flowing move. Okay, so that's fine. What if I want mostly semi-quavers, but not an absolute running series of notes? Well, of course, what I can do is to come in here and either I can grab the eraser tool and throw away um, any notes that I don't like, or of course I can select the pencil tool and say, okay, actually I want to remove just a couple of these here and there just to break up my pattern. So that's fine. And it could be that actually I want to make up a pattern that isn't made of 16th notes, but maybe it's made of eighth notes instead. Well here, the time quantize feature um, is here to help me. If I come down to here and select eighth notes and come back to the brush tool instead, then what I'm going to find is that now when I draw in my series of notes, I get a note every eighth note rather than every 16th. Okay, so what we've now got is a beat pattern that's been made using collapse mode to just focus around the notes that we want to use. And we've already seen that using the quantize value, I can use brush the brush tool to add notes at the speed or the resolution that I want to do that. So how might that work with a more musical part? Well, in exactly the same way. I'm gonna come down to this bass line. 
I'm going to create a sequence again by pressing T, by pressing the pencil tool, and then again, I've got an individual bar of information, double click on it. And what I might want to do is to say, right, I only want to be focusing on a narrow range of notes rather than this entire keyboard. Um, what I want to do instead is to say, okay, I'm gonna focus on a, a set of notes, maybe around C sharp, there's one note. Now, because I've got collapse mode already activated for my previous region, the moment I add one note, all of the other notes disappear, but that's fine. I can easily just get rid of collapse mode for a second. And instead what I'm going to do is to say, right, I would like to come back to 16th note resolution. I'm gonna have a sort of running sequence baseline here. And I want to base my baseline around maybe just these three notes here. And in fact, actually what we'll do is we'll take all of those up an octave um, by pressing shift, option and up. And that takes all of those notes up one octave. I can then re-engage collapse mode. And again, I've got a much nicer little sort of collapsed view of the notes that I'm using, which is gonna make it really easy now for me to add more notes using the pattern that I want. So something like this. And now we've got a bass line. just trimmed the filter on that sound a little bit as well. So what we've done within this video is to look at two features which work really nicely if you want to program um, a MIDI region around a sort of more limited series of choices so that you're not drowning in all of these options. And we've looked at collapse mode, which allows us to take um, the view, the MIDI view to just notes that have already been selected and allow us to create patterns for them. And we've looked at the brush tool, which allows us to create a series of running notes in one sort of swipe from left to right.